Hello, a very warm welcome to the TUC Wales Tools and Techniques for Wellbeing. My name is Pam Henry. The tool that I'm going to talk you through today um, is called the Circle of Influence, and it's a concept put together by an author called Steve Covey. Um, the technique is really to help you if you are feeling overwhelmed or if you're feeling it's really tricky to prioritize what you're trying to do. So if you're feeling a little bit out of control, perhaps um, a little bit um, unsure about where you should be spending your time, where you should be putting your attention, um, then this particular technique, this tool that Stephen Covey has come up with, might be something that could be a real value to you. So I'm just going to talk you through um, a slide that hopefully will help you to understand the concept that he put together. So in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, the first habit that he came up with is this idea about being proactive. So being proactive, taking control, of your situation, of your environment, of your tasks, of your time, rather than being reactive and feeling out of control um, and not understanding where you should perhaps be focusing your time and attention. So what Kavi says is that we can almost draw a large circle and populate that circle with all the things that we are concerned about. And, and that's very much a human condition, if you like. We are concerned about many things, um, it, personal things, things about your family, perhaps. You might be concerned about things in the workplace. You might be concerned about the big things in life, you know, world peace and health, um, the environment. And he says, a really good start is to, to maybe make a list, throw everything onto paper, all of your concerns. But he says, the next part is really important, is where you look at that list and you start to identify what are the things that you actually have some influence or control over. And he suggests you might want to think of it as two circles, the big circle where you've got all of your concerns, and then the inner circle, where you've got things that you can actually do something about. You've got some influence, you've got some control. Once you've done that, what Covey suggests is that you spend the majority of your time in your circle of influence. So not in the larger circle of concern, but in that circle of influence, because that's where you're going to get things done that's where your resources will be best put to use. And he, he gives an example of people who live mostly in the bigger concern circle as feeling out of control. Even their language perhaps um, echoes that, where they say, oh, I've tried and I failed, uh, it doesn't, it's not going to happen, I won't succeed. So these really negative um, mindsets and negative language. Where he, as he, where he says, if you live in that inner circle of influence, then your language will show that you are achieving. I have done, I've succeeded, I've managed to complete, I've had a good outcome. All of those things live within that circle of concern or that circle of influence. Now what he says as well is that if you live primarily in your circle of influence and you become a proactive person, then you will grow your circle of influence. People, people will be attracted to you because you are a positive person and you achieve things and you feel a sense of well-being. That way, your circle of influence grows and you can actually complete more of those concerns that you have. It's a kind of win-win situation 
if you take what Stephen Covey has to say. So I really recommend this tool if you are feeling in any way overwhelmed or you don't know what to focus on or you feel you're not achieving as much as you'd like to. I think this circle of influence is great for the workplace, but I also think it fits really nicely into home life as well. Just understanding what is it I have some control over, and if I don't have control over, leave it go perhaps, or park it or shelve it, and spend the majority of my time looking at those things that I can influence. I hope that you find this tool useful and I hope you put it into practice.